well, the, the widow, ex-wife, George's widow, ex-wife, um, she reached out to me September 11th, 2011. So that's the 10th anniversary of September 11th. And I think that was, you know, this feeling of people needing closure in the air. And she found me, ironically, through the website of, I had this novel that was coming out, and she found me through that web website, and she wrote to me um, asking if I wanted to, <sighs> she found this footage, and would I like to have it back? Um, and it was, um, I, I had moved on, I, I'd become a grown-up who didn't have this in my past, I, I had kind of suppressed it and hidden it away. Um, so, you know, for, for, for this thing to come back to me was, and I had a book that was coming out, The Black Isle, and that was something I was preparing to be, a different person, an author, and this thing came back to me, and it was very disturbing to, very intriguing, because I wanted to know whether all the, the memories I had of this thing and all the images in my head were true or not, or whether I just made it up, or me and my friends had this crazy fantasy and it didn't really happen the way we thought. Um, so, but the, the, the boxes arrived in my house and at my house, and she began sending them all these film reels. And it wasn't just film reels, it was also logs, every shred of paper. George kept everything, like, um, you know, like the storyboards and everything. And everything came to my house, like seven boxes of stuff, um, and they, over a period of months, and I just didn't want to deal with them. So I just kept them in the corner of my living room, uh, in a place that where they, they would take as little space as possible, so in the corner, and they stacked them. As soon as they arrived, they stacked them on top of each other, and soon it would be seven boxes um, standing vertically. And you know, when you stack seven boxes, they resemble kind of a standing coffin or a sarcophagus. Um, and it became this thing that was haunting me, and it took me three years before I could summon the courage to kind of open them up and see what was inside. And um, I, you know, and I did finally, because um, they were beginning to scare my cats, <laughs> and, and I had to do something about this dust gathering. Um, and so I, 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 I found a lab in Burbank, California, that knew what to do with 16, because not many places in, in 2015 knew what to do with um, 16 millimeter, and then I, I found a, you know, um, I was very nerdy about this. I did some research and found a guy who was dealing, he, he worked with a lot of, uh, he knew color, because I, I needed somebody who understood color, because a lot of newer people and younger people don't. And this guy had done a lot of the Criterion discs, um, you know, for um, the Douglas Sirk movies from the 50s and 60s, and so he understood color. And um, so I worked with him, looking at the footage, and he, he was the one who, you know, um, his jaw dropped. It was like, what is this? Where is this? What is this? Um, and, and then, you know, I, I, that's when I start to realize that there was something kind of special that people who didn't know what the history of this thing was and didn't know where Singapore was thought these images were intriguing. And I thought, okay, let's, maybe there's a story here. <laughs>